Right. On Friday, California churches fighting the state's pandemic restrictions received a partial victory from the Supreme Court. In a divided ruling, the high court blocked California's COVID-related ban on indoor worship. The legal challenges were brought by two churches, one in Pasadena and another in San Diego. Justices allowed some restrictions to remain in place, including a 25% capacity limit and a ban on singing and chanting during services. So with the ruling, how are our local churches reacting? And when will they plan to welcome back worshipers? Our Jonathan Oaxaca spoke to several across the valley and has their reaction. I was glad when they say unto me, let us go unto the house of the Lord. So I feel really happy to know that we are about to go back to, to the building. Pastor Lozano is glad to know his congregation can have their service inside the building after the Supreme Court lifted the state's ban on indoor worshiping during the coronavirus pandemic. But going back to the building is going to give us the opportunity to fellowship and to uh, be in communion, communion with each other. The state can limit services to only 25% attendance in the building and restrict singing and chanting during the service. Lozano says they will follow these protocols closely. We're saying, okay, once we open, so we're ready to just go back uh, on Saturday because we, we meet on Saturdays. And then uh, we are going to follow the protocols. We're going to request everybody if they feel sick to stay home. We're going to recommend people to, um, to also be mindful of the health of the elderly. Since the summer, churches have only been allowed to have their services outdoors or virtually. Now they can welcome back all those who look for some faith during these challenging times. So it was a challenge at first because many people, especially uh, people who are the elderly, they don't know how to use technology. But uh, with, the, with, with the new uh, millennials and with everybody else going into virtual, it was really a blessing for us. Jonathan Oaxaca, NBC Palm Springs.